it's Kalia. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Oh my god. Hey guys, it's Kalia. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. So for today's video, I wanted to talk about my Accutane journey so far. I've only been on Accutane for about a month, but I kind of want to do like one month videos talking about like my journey so far. So if that sounds interesting to you, then you should press that subscribe button and also leave a comment down below telling me that you're interested by it. It. So I have a list on my phone here about points I want to hit, so don't mind me looking at my phone. To begin, I just wanted to talk about my backstory. I just want to make it super brief so it's not boring or anything like that. So I started getting acne um, after I hit puberty, which was when I was 11, and I am now 19. So I've been struggling with acne for almost 10 years. I visited dermatologists in the past and they just prescribed me some antibiotics and some like topical creams like clindamycin lotion and retinol like I would say they kind of helped but not as much as I wanted them to so after struggling with acne for so long my mom suggested that I go on Accutane so we made an appointment with the dermatologist and we kind of talked to her about wanting to go on Accutane, and that's when my Accutane process started. So I also want to talk about the process of Accutane, because I don't think people really realize how, like, severe it is. Like, there's not a lot that you have to do, but there is a lot of time in between, like, each step of Accutane. So as some of you may know, Accutane is, I think, like, the strongest medication that you can take for your acne. So with that, there is a pretty severe process that goes into taking Accutane. Before I even started Accutane, I had to take a pregnancy test to make sure that I was not pregnant. Just because if you are pregnant and taking Accutane, your baby can be super deformed and it's just super unfair to the baby and just really bad overall. I forgot to mention that the first time you take a pregnancy test for Accutane, you do have to tell them the two forms of contraceptions that you're taking. So for me, I have the next plan on and then the second one is a male condom, <laughs> which sounds so funny. I don't know why. They're also part of this program called I Pledge. They take it pretty seriously, I would say. Like you have to answer questions about how being on Accutane is bad if you're pregnant and whatnot. Okay, so let's fast forward to my appointment right before I got prescribed the Accutane pills. So during this appointment, I had to take another pregnancy test and I also had to get my blood drawn so they could check my blood levels. Um, after that, then I just had to come home and log into the iPudge website and then answer questions about being pregnant and on Accutane. So I started taking um, Accutane on I think August 3rd and here's the box that the pills came in so there were like three packs with I don't know like a good amount of pills but I am currently taking the 40 milligram pills and I just take this once a day with food I also quickly just wanted to talk about the possible side effects of Accutane so I would say the biggest side effects associated with Accutane are depression and dryness. Personally, I have not had any depressive episodes, which I'm super thankful about because I know that being depressed is really hard. And also with the school year coming up, I hope that that stays the same. And then for the second side effect that I mentioned, dryness, that is something that I am experiencing right now. I would say my dryness is not that bad, but I've definitely noticed it. Like, I have dryness around my mouth right here, sometimes on my chin, and then I had dryness on my nose too, which went away, which I'm really thankful for. So at the beginning of taking Accutane, that's when my dryness was probably like the worst, I would say. Like the corners of my mouth were so dry to the point where it hurt to open my mouth to eat or like brush my teeth. Um, but now it has gotten better, like I can open my mouth without it hurting. And also I feel like the dryness around here has kind of gone away. Um, so that's good. Thankfully yesterday on my second dermatology visit on Accutane, um, my dermatologist prescribed to me 
um, hydrocortisone. So I can apply that to the corners of my lips and they should help within a couple days. Also, since we're on the topic of my dermatology appointment yesterday, all I had to do was get my blood drawn and take my third pregnancy test. When I was talking to my dermatologist assistant, she said that I should not have to get my blood drawn for like my following appointments. So that's seriously amazing because like, I don't know, just getting your blood drawn is such like a dreadful thought and experience. Okay, so now going back to the side effects, I just wanted to mention the products that I've been using that I feel like have been really helping with my dryness. I'll include pictures of the products I'm talking about in case you are interested. To start off, I've been using Aquaphor, which you've probably heard of. I just apply that to my lips and also like around like the areas of my lips. And I feel like that has helped a lot just because it's so moisturizing. And I feel like that's probably one of the reasons why my lips have not been as dry as some people who are on Accutane or have been on Accutane. Also, it's super helpful that we're required to wear masks in Minnesota now when we go into places. So if I have like just a bunch of like grease from the aquifer around my lips, I can just cover it up with a mask and also at work. Hallelujah. The second product I've been using that I feel like has been helping me a lot is the CeraVe Moisturizing Cream. I think that's what it's called. I know that it's their cream and not their lotion. It's um, obviously very moisturizing, so I feel like that has been helping me a lot too, which is why I've not experienced much dryness. Also, I forgot to mention that for the purpose of this video, I'm not wearing any makeup besides my eyebrows and my eyelash extensions. So this is how my skin looks without makeup right now. The third hydrating product I've been using um, is the CeraVe Hydrating Cleanser. I don't really know if that's been helping, but it is a hydrating cleanser, so it must be helping some sort of way, I would say. I did want to say if you are not too familiar about skincare, you should definitely check out Skincare by Hiram. Because like with Accutane, even though it is helping your skin, you still want to maintain a good skincare routine. Because once you're off Accutane, you just want to do the most that you can to keep your skin looking good. I thought I knew a lot about skincare, but after watching Skincare by Hiram, I threw out so many products that I realized were so bad for my skin. So, highly recommend checking him out. So before this video comes to an end, I did want to talk about my results. As I said, I've only been on Accutane for a month, but there's already been such a dramatic difference in my skin. Like, my dermatologist said that I probably would not see a lot of results within the first month, but honestly, I kind of have. Like, um, she said I might have less breakouts, but that's probably all. But from my personal experience, I noticed that some of my acne scars have gone away and um, I have been getting less breakouts. So I'm super happy with the results I already see now. And it only makes me wonder like how much better my skin's gonna get in a couple months. With that being said, that is everything I wanted to cover in this video. If you have any questions, please leave them down below and I'll try to answer them to the best of my abilities. If you're thinking about going on Accutane after struggling with acne for so long like I did or even for like a couple years, like I highly recommend going on Accutane. Like it's been a month and my skin is already so much better than it was just a month ago. All right, that's all I wanted to cover today. If you enjoyed this video and found it to be helpful, please leak a like on this video and also press the subscribe button and turn on the post notification bell. I'll also appreciate it if you left a comment down below just because I know that helps the algorithm. <laughs> Thank you guys so much. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.